Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Block-Based Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to create the page templates and block template parts. And in this video, we're going to learn about the global styles. So how do we apply a global style and how to uh, add all of the settings required inside of the experimental theme JSON file? So I'm inside of my theme and as you can see I've already created experimental-theme.json file and currently we just have settings and defaults inside of it. But if you haven't created yours, please go ahead and create that. If you have been following along the series, you already know about what we did over here in terms of creating the block template templates and block template parts. If you haven't, I suggest you watch the previous episodes in the same series. And let's understand what is this file used for so if you go to the documentation it talks about that the purpose of experimental theme.json file is to make it easier to style blocks by setting defaults and it's not just about you know adding the style to the blocks but it's also to do with adding global styles so you can see that it says it creates css variables also called css custom properties that can be used to style blocks both in the front end as well as in the editor it also allows you to set the global styles and set styles for individual block types, right? Let me give you an example. So these settings, as you see here, like color, uh, color palette, uh, the color, the line height, etc. This will be global. And then you also have something available for individual blocks. Like if you want to add certain style to certain blocks, uh, like an H2, you can do that like so, right? So it's basically a JSON file with a key value pair of data. And um, right now it's, this is, this is an experimental phase, it's called experimental hyphen uh, theme.json, but later on this will just be called theme.json. And there have been discussion about to even remove the style.css completely and handle it directly from theme.json, but, but that's still under discussion. Okay, so what we do is, I have already written some styles, so it's save time, I'm gonna copy that. This all code will be available inside of the theme, which is uh, Electra. So you go to Imran Sayyad slash Electra on GitHub and you will see all of the code, so you can take it from here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste this, all right? So let me explain to you all of this step by step, and I'm gonna give you a demo of how these things work. So now if you go back to the editor, and if I just go ahead and refresh the page, I'm gonna start with index page. So I'll go to the templates, all templates, index, right? So this is my index page. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on these three dots. You notice that you've got the three dots here. And if you scroll down, you have an option of global style, this one right here, okay? So you click on that. And the moment you do that, as you can see now, we are getting all of the properties CSS properties that have been added inside of the experimental theme.json file. So let's start with this one. So this is the settings, this is defaults, then you have got the color. Let's start with the color, shall we? So inside of the color, if you scroll down, you've got the palette available, right? So you can see that black, gray, gray, white, red, blue. So all of these names, these, this name is actually coming from here and the slug is used for that particular color and this is the color that is being used. If I go ahead and change this to this, uh, just to something else, uh, let's say I change this to orange and the hex code of orange is this, I'm gonna copy that. And now if you go and refresh, you'll notice that we now got the orange color. So I just removed the other one, right? So you can add as many as you want, I'll put that to black, I'll go ahead and refresh the page so that we have got the black color back. Yep, there you go. So these are all colors that are responsible uh, for what's being displayed over here, an option to choose that, okay? Then you've got the spacing, so you've got custom padding available, okay? And then you've got the typography, inside of typography you've got font sizes, so if you notice, over here you've got some font sizes option available. So you've got extra small, small, large, extra large, and huge. So this is coming from here. Extra small is 12 pixels, 14, 16, 24, 40, and 96. 
So it's up to you what do you want to decide these numbers to be, uh, depending on what you want to set that for your theme. That Those are the options will be available here, right? So if I go ahead and change it to, scroll down, if I go ahead and change it to large, notice this go, is going ahead and applying those styles globally, which is brilliant, which is amazing, right? It gives you that power to control the font size of your entire site using this option. Now you've got the custom width available. So default, we're setting it to uh, 1024 and the wide will be 1200 pixels. So we're setting all of that, okay? And then you've got the margin. We're setting the horizontal margin to be 14 pixels. Then you've got some styles. So inside of the root, I'm setting the color uh, and then I'm putting the background color option, the text, the link, and I'm also putting the font sizes. Now, if you go back and change the background color, let's say this one, so you can see that now it's the entire side background has been changed. And if you go ahead and change the you can also change the link color. So let's say I want to change the link color to white. I can do that. So, so I can change the link color to white. Uh, I can change the text color to, let's see, white as well, right? Um, link color can probably be this, right? If I go ahead and update design, save it. If I go back to the front end, refresh, there you go, congratulations. As you can see that it's been applied globally, which is really, really amazing. I can go to, go to Hello World and it's been applied everywhere. It's perfect, right? And these are all of the uh, styles that have been applied to the root color. So if you take a look uh, onto the front end and see what's happening over there. So if you take a look over here, you see that inside of the root, it's applying all of this uh, color for the link, right? To be blue, so by default, it's going to be blue and then font size is applying as normal over here so it's picking up the normal whatever you define your normal as which is here it's picking up that as your default and even the text is picking up that as gray as default okay and then if you make any changes of course it'll be overridden now if you click on html you can see this is what is being applied here so all of these styles uh, that you see inside of the root is being applied over here, right? So if I go to and change this to, let's say, blue or blue-violet, you can see it's changing, right? So this is being applied globally. Awesome. Perfect. So you can get more information about this uh, from the documentation itself. Uh, you can define more stuff. So it's just totally up to you what control you want to give. Uh, for that, right? Hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And please do start my repository to support my work. Uh, my repository name is Electra. And and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Corey Tech. All right. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.